spaces. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon or good morning or evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for joining us. We're doing a little impromptu uh, Twitter live uh, using Restream. And I'm delighted. I'm so thrilled to have Hoseline Main with us this morning. Hello there. Hello. Hi. Que pasa? How's everyone doing? <laughs> I'll be speaking Spanish by the end of the year, you know, if I keep hanging out with you. It's wonderful to see you. And thank you so much for taking the time out. I know you're a busy man. Um, Hoseline is a consultant, a trainer, um, a super connector. And, and also he's a speaker. And definitely what I've noticed about Hoseline lately is he is an expert on Twitter spaces. So we're going to find out lots of information today. But first of all, Hoseline, welcome and tell us a bit about yourself. Yes, well, thank you for having me. Uh, we've been bonding via Twitter Spaces uh, phenomenally. You're you're like a a, a distant sister uh, that I could <laughs> depend on um, when I need uh, some assistance and promotions and things of that nature. So a little bit about myself. I'm a first generation Dominican American. I was first born here in the United States. Uh, my parents and uh, my mother, and my sisters were all born in the Dominican Republic. Uh, I went to school for engineering, electrical and computer engineering. So actually. I can make one of these things. Um, uh, I have the skill sets to do that, which is very applicable in this day of marketing, right? Because marketing has become more technical than it is uh, from a philosophy way and for a methodology type of way. So the more you know technology, the better it is to navigate the system. Because a lot of times we're going to be talking about today with Twitter spaces is some of the technology behind it, like click what button, where to put it, all these types of things. So I think with having that level of understanding, it's it's really helped me, um, you know, develop mm. a process um, to simplify everything because I'm I'm so used to as an engineer to to use a formula. So I created a, a method called the MMT method, which we'll discuss uh, that you could apply not only in Twitter spaces, but also in business in general. Um, and it stands for marketing uh, mindset, marketing and technology. And we're going to go through all what that means with Twitter spaces and everything else. Um, so that's a quick mm. synopsis. Um, and to give even a little bit more context, um, 2007, 2000, um, 2006, 2007, um, that's when Twitter got started, as you know. Um, at that time, um, it was very equivalent to what Twitter space is in now. Um, the majority of the discussions on Twitter, because Twitter had just launched, was about Twitter, which is like how to use Twitter and all those types of things. So um, just like we're getting together right now in this virtual world, at that time, there's a term that came out that was called tweet ups. And tweet ups were yep. events uh, that had the genesis in Twitter. So people would connect like me and you. And if we were in the same general location, uh, we would go to a local bar and connect simply because we were connected on Twitter. Yeah. Um, so they were great. They were great. Were weren't they for putting the face to the name? And yeah. 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 So at the time, obviously there was no audio. So that was the best way we could get to connect with people in real life. So mm turn to 2021 and we have Twitter spaces and Twitter spaces is equivalent to that. Now, an interesting mm -hmm. thing um, that I wanted to highlight and, and you'll be hopefully a testament to this is in that time frame of 2007 and it actually expanded to 2017, um, these Twitter were, will be all over the city and I would want to support them all. So I used to go to two to three events a day for about 10 years, so over 10,000 events collectively. So that same philosophy is what I'm using in Twitter spaces by going to so many Twitter spaces and supporting so many people and put, you know, paying it forward to that perspective. Um, and that's something that we're gonna talk about a little bit later on when it comes to how do you become well-known in this platform that's in beta and how to stand out amongst the crowd uh, things like that. So- And you're definitely the, yeah, you're definitely the person to tell us that today. I, I just want to interrupt you and say hello to some people who've joined yeah. us who've actually kindly, kindly joined us. Uh, Tim, David, hello. We have also, Brenda has sent you a message in Spanish. Oh, she que has... bueno, que bueno. And we got Hola. Gilda, Brenda, Sam, Irish, uh, Twitter, genius. I love it. Yeah, okay. And Shannon and Brenda says, Hola de Irlanda or something. I don't know. Hola desde Ireland. So she's saying yeah. hello from Ireland. 
Fantastic. Yeah, okay. It. And then Natalie Gregg is here as well. And we have Shannon, the lovely Shannon. We've Jagdeep, Deep, who you met yesterday. Gilda, Gilda, thank you so much. I, uh, thanks for looking at my message. And we also have Osman. Oh, this is lovely. Thank you. And this is exactly what's happening. This Twitter Spaces community has come out to help us and support us right now so yeah um so we're going to get tips on so go ahead I, just one other person said hello miriam has said hello as well from ireland and tim david has said hello a few times <laughs> <laughs> so I put the, tim I put fantastic the tim came in so good i went to his space got a genuine yeah, voice lovely. A, a lot of these people that are on here i truly love and appreciate that they really make the the community and the world so much smaller right yeah with you know there's yeah. Just in Twitter alone, there's 330 million people or accounts on Twitter. Um, there's 187 monetizable Twitter accounts in the U.S. There's 69.3 million people. Uh, the next biggest is China with 50 million. But who's counting, right? Who knows? <laughs> but there's yeah. so many people, and and we're fortunate. Uh, Sam, uh, before myself, have access to this concept called Twitter Spaces, which we're going to talk about deep dive. And we're yep. about a, a few hundred people out of those mass numbers that we talked about. So, um, so yeah, so I'm excited to talk about because this is a phenomenal platform. Okay, so first of all, for people who haven't a notion what we're talking about, <laughs> I will just do a little thing about. Um, so for people, a lot of my audience, host Lean, would not be tech savvy. Oh, by the way, I am not tech savvy either, folks. I'm not <laughs> tech savvy. I'm social media savvy, but I'm not tech. You don't have to be a techie. And I know host Lean would have a totally different approach to me in that way. I mean, tech stuff is not my forte, but that's why I have a team that are good at that stuff that I'm not good at. But for anyone that doesn't know, really, if you have your phone, if you just look at your phone and you look at uh, your Twitter on your phone, and really this is where you'll find Twitter spaces. So do you see that? So when you go into your phone there, you will see purple up the top of the phone. This is where Twitter Spaces is, just for people that don't know what we're talking about. So if you click on one of those, you can enter one of those rooms. So highlighting the people who are running those rooms at the moment, they've no idea they're live on Twitter now, but there you go. So you can actually just click into one. So if you want to carry on then, I'll just, that's just for the people who haven't a clue what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, and and there's a, a lot of different things to, um, to really think through and I've come up with an actually an analogy uh, for people, um, and it, I'm using space as the analogy. So the first uh, letter, the S, um, is to strategize, right? And this goes to most social networks, most social platforms, but in, in, in Twitter spaces, it becomes very important. Strategize, uh, meaning who are you all about? You know, who, what's your brand all about? What is your end goal? What do you want to be recognized for? Twitter Spaces allows you to expedite the um, your brand um, very rapidly, expand your brand very rapidly, because now Twitter Spaces is what's considered what's considered it uh, in the audio um social media platform arena it's based off of audio sound only and not uh visuals or not videos like this or not just text um so it's unique to the the twitter sphere because the twitter sphere is primarily focused on text uh 106 140 uh initially um and that expanded to be photos and then videos and things like that and now we're doing live streams so this unique arena for audio uh, is something that primarily was, I would say, catalyzed by um, Zoom fatigue or becoming Zoom zombies. People did not mm. want to dress up for video and they were all stressed out and all these other things. So they still wanted to communicate. So these apps gained uh, a high popularity or gain, gaining high popularity. So strategize, essentially, think about what you want, what your mission is. Um, that way, before you even join a space, you have a sense of updating your Twitter bio, updating your photo, um, because the way people are going to select you to speak is first they're going to look at your avatar, the image that you have, and that image should represent who you are uh, in some form or fashion. Your bio should also not only explain briefly who you are uh, in, I think, 260 characters, but also provide a link to get more information about you. The ability for people to know about you is going to escalate uh, almost exponentially. Your statistics, your your metrics on that platform are going to escalate because you're going to join a space, you're going to contribute, and then people are going to 
be enthralled by your genius ideas or thought process and things like that, they're going to want to go to your profile. So make sure that that complements what you're doing. So I'm going to stop with that with strategize. Um, and I'm not sure if we could take questions or not. Uh, but I just want to make sure we can. Yeah, people can ask questions yeah. in the chat. And I'm actually typing some of the tips, as you can see, I'm putting them up on the screen. What is your mission? Strategize. What do you want to be known for? I always say this about Twitter anyway. So yes. definitely, you know, in Twitter, your bio is so important, isn't it, Hoseline? Because yeah. people, when they see you in the space, they will see your picture, your avatar. So make sure people take a split second to the side. OK, click on that and decide whether they're going to follow you or not. And once people follow you, they're like your own little army of marketeers, your own little army of allies right. that will spread the word about you. Um, so I just want to say hello to some more people who've joined us. <laughs> Laurie has joined us. Thank you so much. She says it's so true about Zoom. Have you to be accepted onto a space? Brenda, I'll tell you about that later. So you can just message <laughs> me. Asma, she's a member of Women's Inspire Network. So I, I can see. say to her, right, Osman is here. Yes, I could not even think that I will host a room. And for four hours, we had totally total 3000 people in and out and no lovely to see you Noel. Noel is a, a, a huge social media expert nice. here in ireland well done samantha for hosting joined the twitter space the other day with collection yeah. journalists discussing the recent facebook data leak phenomenal feature to see on twitter poor clubhouse must be crying yes. now. oh okay well thank you so much for that okay so let's continue and i can take questions i just want to keep track of the comments here so i can make sure gilda says um, I don't want to ignore anyone. You see, I like to include yeah, the audience. This is great. As much I love as possible, it. Hosley. Um, Twitter Spaces is all about community, enabling people to support one another, interact, share experience. Yes, love it. Yeah, you know, yes. that's exactly, and that's what I just say Twitter is about, actually. Yeah. And welcome, Lauren, as well from Ireland. We have a few, we have an international audience here. I love it. Just like on Twitter Spaces. <laughs> yeah. And uh, quick fun fact do you know why it was originally 140 characters? Or... No. It was because of the mobile phone. So in the mobile phone, it's 160 characters that S to send an M SMS. So what they did is they ca called it 140 and then 20 uh, characters for your name. So that was the genesis. And the genesis of Twitter was, what are you doing? Um, and it was started by um, Biz Ev Jack. And it was just a way to communicate to your friends what you were doing. So instead of texting everybody at the time, group texting wasn't that big of a thing or the capability probably wasn't technically there. Uh, so they decided to create this Twitter platform to do just that. Uh, it evolved to what has your interest. Now it's, it's complementing that. Now you just join a community of people in Twitter spaces to have a discussion about various subject matter. We just heard about the journalism community and this could be, again, if you strategize your vision, you could say, OK, what am I interested in? What do I want to be known for? Let me host a discussion on that particular topic for 30 minutes, an hour, two hours. Um, so it allows you to really connect and bond um, very, very easily. Um, you'll find, yeah. huh, quite frankly, that you might start with good intentions of 30 minutes and it'll become two hours just like that. Oh, because people I know. Joining, oh. And it's oh. just a phenomenal just um, don't jump in when you have a meeting coming up. Exactly. Don't jump in when you have a meeting coming up because you're like, eh, sorry, I have to actually end this really yeah, interesting yeah. space and interrupt you speaking because I have to go. Like, it's just like, but look, I think they're going to roll out the capability of somebody being a co-host and carrying it on. But we're going to give you a little lesson, everybody, um, on, on how to use spaces. So Brenda, watch this carefully. Stuart has actually said, and Laurie has said she didn't know that fun fact. Stuart has actually said, has a question. Uh, fascinating session. Thanks. Any idea how fast Twitter are likely to roll out spaces to a wider user base? So essentially, the plan is by the end of the month. So you're getting access to information that, again, if you look at the entire Twitter universe and the trial world, they don't have access to. Right now, there's a select number of people that are in the beta program. Uh, it's uh, roughly around like 200 or so. I haven't known, known the exact numbers because they're letting people in gradually, uh, depending on the person's audience or if they fit the demo. Um, so you're getting a heads up to something that's going to be potentially very big. I've actually seen spaces, and I don't know if you've been a part of these spaces, Samantha, where there was 5,000 people in the space. No, um, I haven't been a they're, they're opening it up and testing the platform. They're doing something called uh, work in public, which means instead of releasing a product like uh, a normal product like Word, when you buy it, it's done. 
they're releasing a public beta or well, all beta is kind of public, but they're, they're using this platform and they're making upgrades as we use it. And they're taking our suggestions and things like that. Um, so the, the next uh, part of the acronym uh, for space to help you better understand Twitter spaces is P is for participate. You want to go in and before you request a mic, because in case uh, you don't have access to become a host, the first thing you should do is participate. First, you strategize, get your profiles and everything all set, get a sense of where you want to go. Then you participate, join as many rooms as possible, get a sense of the platform, uh, contribute to that audience. And there you go. So at the top of that, it's called the fleet bar. That fleet bar is right next to uh, Samantha's beautiful avatar there. And you see those numbers that indicate essentially how many people are in that, how many speakers are in that particular session. So when you click on any one of those, uh, it's going to give you, uh, if you scroll up, it's going to give you the name of that person or the name of the space and what they're talking about if they fill that in and who's in that um, who's in that space. Uh, the other thing that it might highlight, and if you go so to- What you would do is you would click join this space if I want to join. And if I join this space, let's just join it just for now, just to show. Yeah. So once you My, join, I come up there. Yeah. Exactly. And then you see her, her face is there. It, generally speaking, the way to design it is they want to make sure that your image is at the very top. So they're going to put you at the highest uh, level so that you can see where you are. It's going to vary from person to person. Um, so the other thing that you want to do, click on Queens for a second. I'm just going into Queens. Perfect. Yeah, I wonder can we message Queen and let her know we're doing this? She'd be yeah. she won't mind. So the, yeah. the good thing about this is that now if you oh, I don't think you could see the um what you may call it. Yeah, I'm an I'm an Android, by the way, folks. So okay. and I won't I, have all the features that Hoseline would. And yes. I'm gonna take a picture of this to share it, and then I'm gonna also show mine. So if I go to my version of it, let's see, boom, boom, boom. And so when I join the space, folks. Uh, my avatar will come in. So Queen will see that I've just joined the space. Right. So at the very top is called the nest. The nest is a place where you could store tweets and pin tweets to the top to add to the discussion. So in this particular um, space, it's all about coffee and conversation. So it's pretty much from Monday through Thursday, 7 to 11, uh, every day, Eastern Standard. She has a discussion about a variety of different things. So those are the individuals that are in the room. As you see, the first thing you see is people's avatar. Uh, as of right now, the name isn't completely filled out. So that's why the avatar is the initial thing. You also notice some hundreds because she probably asked the question and said, hey, click on the 100 if you X, Y, Z, if you like coffee. So I'm going to show like you where that is. It's down here. I wish I had my nails done. Sorry. For <laughs> the no Lockdown. Worries. I can't get my nails done. So I'm sorry about that. But look, if I click here, um, the love heart uh, icon here, I can actually click 100 or whatever icon I want to show to show my approval, show I think she's great or whatever, or whatever they're saying I can agree with. Now, my mic is not on. OK, and my, my, my volume is low. I can hire this, but I'm not sure. And then the other thing, so I have dark mode. So now we're going to get the dark and the light mode. Um, I don't know if the dark mode actually works. Let me see if I uh, yeah, do this. And let me go there. And yeah, do you want to? Yeah. And this one's mine, right? So we got two, the light and the dark mode. As you see, before I enter, because I was given the microphone before, I have the option to go in as a listener or as a speaker. Um, and this is, again, based off of the relationship that I have with the host um, and based off the last status that I had with the host. Um, so, again, participate. We just showed you how to participate. Go in, contribute, add value. I know add values it has become very trite. Um, it's become overused. But give your best, essentially. Give the best information you can without being self-promotional, and you'll be in essence, indirectly be promoting your thoughts and idea. So you still will be promoting um, mm. and people will inquire to find out more about you by indirectly yep. giving your best as opposed to just pitching, pitching, pitching. You contribute, contribute, contribute or participate. And people are going to say, oh, Samantha, great thoughts. I love what you're saying. How could I hire you? How could I bring you into you know, my business to teach? Because the way you're communicating right now is extremely important, you know? Mm -hmm. That leads me to the A. A is the audience. Understand what 
the topic is and stay on topic and stay focused. That's very important. There's a variety of different audiences. We just talked about specifically how there's so many people here internationally um, and Twitter is the same way. Twitter Spaces is the same way. So um, when you go in, you're going to have people. I was just in a discussion about Ramadan because that's the first day of Ramadan. So we were talking about fasting. There's a very big African contingent. So there's various countries in Africa. Ireland has a great community. Uh, there's a, at least five people that I knew that are from Ireland with a beautiful accent that I always look forward to just hearing all the time that I wouldn't be able to do when um, with the traditional <laughs> Twitter. Right. Um, yeah. We have yeah. the Latino community that runs 24 hour sessions. There's always a Latino based uh, uh, Twitter space. There's 23 different countries that speak Spanish. So we have a big contingency there. And then there's subject matter experts. I know some in here uh, put together some great ones. Tim, great photographer, doing some great stuff. He's starting to um, leverage his voice on Twitter spaces. Gilda, I think, was here. Um, yep. who does something on email marketing. Um, and she, I, I joined that yeah. actually. It was and very good. And I learned a lot on it about email marketing because that's not my that's not my superpower, but it's her superpower. So right. it's it's about finding your superpower and obviously hosting a space around your superpower as well. Uh Stuart, welcome. Lovely to see you, Stuart. Uh Lauren. Yeah, a lot of people are here. Laurie, they're still here. So uh yeah, they're commenting away there. So feel free to ask questions in the chat, folks. If you're on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, we're live on all platforms at the moment. Perfect. Well and this is mm -hmm. great. So um, I want to like take a pause. So how is this information so far? Is it helpful? Let us know in the comments if there's some specific questions that you have. Um, let me know. Well, the one that Brenda and Damien yeah. has just asked is mm -hmm. how do you get Twitter spaces? So there is an application to fill out. Um, okay. I'm not sure if they're still Fine accepting enough. folks and, and if they're still using that. Some people are filling it out. Some people won't. What we'll do is I'll actually um, send a message to me and i'll put the, the yes link up yeah, yeah, yeah. He, if you're on twitter here's what i highly recommend i created a hashtag called twitter spaces tips if you go there scroll down that list in that list there's going to be guides various guides that i found that are created myself on how to be a host um how to apply there's the application i tagged in there there's also going to be you know how to select the emojis what do the emojis mean um, there's also going to be things about the future of Twitter spaces. In the future, they're going to have co-hosting capabilities. They're going to have the ability to have a tip jar. So you're going to be able to generate revenue from uh, Twitter spaces. So Twitter spaces tips Ill. is the hashtag. Twitter spaces tips, yeah? Yes, Twitter spaces That's tips. The hashtag, folks. Um, yeah. Is go there um, and see a bunch of information that's already been posted. People are using that globally to share ideas and things of that nature. So I highly recommend going there um, for that, you know, for, you know, when you're just getting started. Um, the other thing too is if, if you're on Twitter, DM me if you have any questions. Um, I'm more than happy to assist in any way. I know whatever we say right now is still going to be too short uh, because yeah. there's so much to learn and it's changing every day. Um, so yeah. the next thing that I want to talk about is the C in space as using that as an acronym. And I, I decided two are going to be important, consistency and community, right? Consistency is important because if you become a host, it's good to have a sense of um, being on the platform on a regular basis. If you pick a day and time uh, so people can tune in to your message and also more importantly, community. You know, there's a variety of different communities. Be a part of the community just like you're on any other community. The more you contribute to that community with consistency, see, see what I did there? Um, yeah. Three seasons in a row. Um, the, the more your brand gets seen, the more people know about you, the more people know about your business, and the, the, the more the stronger your relationships become, because ultimately this is, we do business with the people we know, like, and trust. That's the, the genesis of all the social media marketing component. So the more you could communicate <laughs> consistently in the community, um, I can keep going with the C's. <laughs> well, yeah, um, yeah. I, I mean, and, and uh, I was going to say kindness, but that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. That's funny. We got the alliteration going on. Um, I just want to show the people uh, like Damien and Brenda who are asking about if you can see the spaces, you can probably join the spaces. So, mm -hmm. so you don't think that they can actually even see the spaces? Maybe, maybe you can't even see the spaces. But if you can see the spaces, 
this little tip, I don't know if they're still doing this, but when people started joining in the spaces, any of my friends that started joining them, all of a sudden they got the ability to host. Right. So they are watching all the time, folks. So if you do see this and you see the spaces, start hopping in, start participating, even just listening, just yes. start hopping in. And, and you will see a lot of the engineers and developers are actually hopping into the spaces themselves because they're trying to see what's going on, see how they can improve it. They're so active and engaged with the community, which I love to see, which is lovely to see, you know. So so don't be afraid to hop in and even listen. Or if you see me having a space or Hoseline or anybody that's here, just go and join and listen and then contribute in some way if you can to the conversation. But start doing that because then all of a sudden, you never know, it could happen to you like it happened to a few of us. All of a sudden, we were able to host a space. Exactly. And one of the, the great things about them working in public is they actually have a Twitter Spaces session on solving Twitter bugs. Um, Quinn, which is one of the Twitter Spaces developers that's working on resolving um, bugs on the Android as well as the iOS uh, platform, continuously just takes questions from anyone that joins. So um, that those are great sessions. Like Samantha mentioned, you often see people from the Twitter community, the development team and the uh, leadership team join. You know yeah. what to look for because their avatar has a blue background with some very funky uh, graphics to it. So if you see someone with the blue background with the funky graphics, um, with the kind of like the Twitter colors, those most likely it. Click on that profile and you can or cannot uh, acknowledge them. That is your prerogative. They won't um, necessarily join because they're busy and they're busy listening, but you could always invite them up. Um, so, yeah, so we see uh, some questions there. And just lots of things coming in here. Yeah. And it's all positive. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. And I see lots of retweets going on and lots of lovely things on Twitter going on. So you're going to have lots of notifications, Hoseline, after this. <laughs> okay, so Damien says, thank you very much. Lovely to see you, Damien, by the way. Natalie Gregg, thank you for hosting, Samantha. I've been waiting to launch my space. My the process, This process gets me out of my head. This checklist is phenomenal thank you so much Hoseline. and she does the lead loudly chat on oh, twitter nice. and she's also a member of women's inspire network too uh, brenda says she will hop into the spaces when she sees them i know that it was brenda's birthday as well on the same day as mine so happy birthday brenda uh shannon um <laughs> lovely shannon haha you can see my tweet on the screen in your feed <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're weird as someone else is wonderful <laughs> I love and it. matt kindly put the link um for those you can type twitter.com forward slash i forward slash spaces to find ongoing spaces. That's a great tip there. Okay. And Shannon is laughing. Nula, are there stats on the busiest times on Twitter spaces? Geographically time zones. We better not go into time zones today, Nula, because <laughs> we're all finding them a bit confusing. But yes, there's a question there from Nula. However, that that's a great question. Um, so Come I've been privy to now. get some information. Um, they're keeping track of everything. Um, yeah. They record every Twitter space, uh, they meaning Twitter, um, just for um, their research to make sure that they're building the right platform. If there's some sort of issue that happens on the platform, they'll extend that recording um, beyond uh, 60 days um, or nine days, whatever the, the case might be for to resolve the issue. Um, but they are keeping track of who gen who enters your space, how long they enter for, and things like that. In the future, there might be some reporting that could be done for hosts. Um, so again, this is again more information because you're with us today and I'm gonna give you insider information if I possibly can to help you decide. About we like insider information, up. don't we folks? Um, we like that, we like that. So, and I just realized I still had Queen's space open on my phone. Ah, so I, I, hope she, I hope she didn't give me the mic or I didn't press the mic. Like, so sorry, Queen. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. So there is uh, an ability that few people have, I have it, the ability to go into multiple spaces at one time. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it for the faint of heart because you're gonna hear audios from each one of those sessions. Um, but because I like to, again, know how spaces are run, I would do certain things like that. So let's go back to the acronym. Um, I wanna finish that up. So we have S, strategy, uh, P, part, um, you know, participate, A is audience, C, community, mostly community, um, and E is expand and explore. Right. This is the essence of what we're talking about. Matt put that fantastic link. Now that you have to put that content, the twitter.com forward slash I forward slash um, Twitter spaces into the search bar. You can't click on it because it won't work. So that's something to very to know. And that's going to give you all the tweets promoting a 
uh, Twitter space. There's more Twitter spaces that are open and running, but those are all the ones that have been promoted via Twitter. Someone sent out a tweet because when you send out a tweet, it puts that information into the tweet. So if that Twitter space isn't promoted, you're not going to see the tweet. So unless you're not uh, following them, you're not going to see it. Just a, a little caveat there. Um, there's also some websites that allow you to um, see this on, on one page. Again, if you go to Twitter spaces tips, all the information is there. I just wanted to give you all that stuff in one location, uh, just in case you forget, because we're speaking fast right now. Um, so it's it's very, very uh, easy to become well known in a short period of time. Um, the stuff that you guys are saying right now, mm. it's phenomenal. And imagine just being able to contribute this in uh, a discussion. And that's what the essence of Twitter spaces is. So instead of like reading all the stuff, I'm, I would love to hear your voice. Annette, I would love to hear yeah. your voice. And Christopher and Deb and Sweetie and Brenda, I already hear Nula, she's fantastic. And just to hear people's voices is a, a yeah. phenomenal thing. Uh, that changes the game dramatically. Now, let's do a comparison real quick. A lot of people are comparing this to Clubhouse, which is a good fair comparison because they're in the same category. Now, with Clubhouse, if you're familiar with that, you have these generally bigger rooms. Uh, you have a certain amount of speakers um, and people that are in the, the, the gallery, right? The, the biggest difference you'll find is that within Twitter spaces, the community tends to be smaller. It tends to be uh, more intimate which allows for better discussions or allow for more people to speak. On Twitter spaces, you have 10 speakers that are allowed. On um, Clubhouse, there's a variety of speakers, which is good and or bad. Now, one of the issues that you have with uh, Clubhouse is that when someone speaks, you really don't know who they are because you have to look for this little brown outline along people's uh, avatar and they have to indicate, oh, I'm in the third row, fifth row, whatever. It becomes very complicated. In Twitter spaces, the speakers rise to the top, so they're always at the top, just like uh, Clubhouse, but you also, it's easier for you to see them because there's just a blue uh, audio signal that's there. Um, the other major component is we mentioned the emojis. We have five emojis that you could display, the 100% and uh, three hand gestures and a smiley face or a laughing emoji. The great thing about the three emojis is that they could also be converted into paper, rock, scissors. <laughs> um, so if you want to play a nice game within uh, Twitter spaces, you could use the fist, which is you, you totally agree. Um, so where you find that is that when you enter a room, you have a heart. And if you click on the heart, um, you have the emojis. And if you hold down and press long on any one of the three hand gestures, uh, you could change the skin tone on it. So let's see. Does that work on Android? Um, yeah. Okay. So so it's a good way. So she, she changed it, um, which is very nice. Um, so again, it allows you to communicate and participate even as a uh, listener. Because in Clubhouse, the only people that are able to turn on and off their mic to show emotion are the speakers. But in, in a Twitter space, anybody could send out these emojis, uh, emojis which is great. Um, so um, there's a variety of different things. It, and I, again, I would focus on being part of as many as possible, having these discussions and introducing yourself, acknowledging the people in the room. Um, the, the more you, you understand it, the better it's going to be, because once this they open this up to the floodgates of the universe, <laughs> um, there's going to be a lot of competition. So if you learn now how to apply yourself, how to develop your following, how to glow your 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 community, yeah. you're going to be light years ahead of those people that are just trying to figure things out and things of that. Absolutely, get in there now if you can. Um, I just want to I just want to acknowledge. I know that Hilda and um, I think it's Sweetie Guy. I don't know your name has mm -hmm. asked a couple of questions and sure. they're going on the school run in a minute. So I think if we could just answer those questions, can you download the audio of a space? You cannot at this present moment. They are building in the ability to uh, save the space and record the session. Um, that has yet to be defined. Um, Kayvon, who worked on Periscope, is also one of the, the lead developers or project managers of the Twitter Spaces community. So in the future, you're going to have the ability to save um, and store all the information. What I tend to do is I'll do a screen share 
uh, from my phone and then I'll have another phone that records the audio and then I post that. That's the way I personally do it. I know people have a little bit more sophisticated podcasting technology mm -hmm. that they're mm -hmm. using to record their sessions. I'd say it's only a matter of time. Would you? Right. I, I think it'd be great. Like, um, uh, like my podcast would be sorted, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, also, uh, he also asked, I don't know if you're still here, sweetie guy, I don't know your first name. How many people can you have in a space? There's no limit at this point in time. As I mentioned, I was in a, a space that had 5,000. Um, it's, it's just as many as the platform can support at this point, point in time. And I'll, I'll answer a question that you didn't ask that could be related is how many yeah. tweets can you pin to the nest? And that's also unlimited. So you could have a bunch of different uh, tweets up there, which is, again, separating it from Clubhouse. Because in Clubhouse, it's very mm. interesting because in order to DM someone, you have to go to Twitter or to um, Instagram to send them a private message, but within the Twitter Spaces community, you could use the technology that that you know it's based off of to direct message the the host for more conversations and more context. Um, okay, and, and I know. Point. Sorry, sorry, sweetie guy it was Damien. Sorry, Damien. I know you to do the school run. And um, um, and one person did ask how can you apply. So if I get the link and I'll put it back in there, or Matt, if you could put the link in again on how to apply, just if that's still open, I'm not sure. Yes, it, I've seen um, spaces given out within a couple hours, uh, as yeah, low as yeah. 20 minutes. Um, one of the things that I would highly suggest is that when you go to a space, uh, promote the space, tag the host and tag some of the people that you know in that space that would uh, show that you're part of the community or looking to spread the word that mm -hmm. will increase your chances to mm -hmm. um, become a yep. host. Um, because one of the things that I'm sure that they're going to look at is, okay, have they even been in a space? <laughs> yes. You know, everybody wants this purple mic, which is what I call it. Purple is generally the color associated with um, the platform and the microphone mm -hmm. is the microphone to host. So in my, uh, the way I call it is the purple mic. Everybody wants a purple mic, but even mm -hmm. though I was given the purple mic, it, I didn't host my, my first space until like a week later because I needed to find out who else is doing what space. I didn't want to conflict with Samantha if she had a regular space. Um, mm -hmm. So that's something that uh, I would highly recommend doing. Uh, can you do a webinar on Twitter spaces? Um, yeah. I mean, you could do a variety of different things. The sky is the limit. You would you mm -hmm. would, all, you would almost customize the webinar experience. Um Actually, what we could do to prove that point is we could open a space after this. Yeah, absolutely. If, if you want to do, do that, that, let us yeah. know. Um, and we will go in, use the application to teach you about the application. I know there was discussion about a Twitter chat. You could have a Twitter chat and a Twitter space happening at the same time. You could post the, pin the tweets that you're sending out in the Twitter chat, put it at the nest and use that as discussion, and then just bring up various ones um, to the top. Now, one of the things to know, again, there's so much to know. I want to be respectful. I'm speaking Thanks, fast Max. because I Thanks, want Max. to get yeah. as much possible in this, and it's not to disrespect anyone. I just, there's so much to say in so little time. So this is why I'm speaking. I'm sure fast. we can do a webinar on that another time. <laughs> exactly. Don't worry. Don't worry. And, I'm, <laughs> and I'm Dominican, so we have two speeds, which is uh, fast and Dominican. <laughs> so when I go into Dominican mode, I, I speak like a mile a minute. Um, so, I know there's a lot of school runs happening now. So, I mean, I I, I, we have five more minutes, okay? Because then I think we could do a little, little space before my next appointment, which is half past two. So, very yeah, good. let's do that. Matt has just thrown that back up there. And I think we'll open a space after this. Will we? Are you open space? Perfect. And uh, for anyone that's interested, I'll do a uh, like a 50-minute strategy session with them. Just connect with me. I'll be more than yeah. happy to not just talk about Twitter spaces, but how to monetize it, how to take it to the next level. For your audience, I'll take care of them, make sure that they're all set up. So just connect with me. I can make it happen. Um, but yeah, so let's- well, Lauren has questions. asked, what's the promote for your space? So what you do is you just, you can only do an image and you can just, you can't like send them a link to your space. You can actually just, if you just go to your phone, Lauren, and if you just after this after this interview, if you just go to your phone, and if you go to the top of your Twitter, um, Lauren's newish to Twitter. She's a nutritionist. She's fantastic. And um, if you just go to the top there, Lauren, you'll see the purple. So just when you'll see Hoseline's face in purple or my face in purple, join in that space. Just click join. Okay. And then the the so when you're in a space, you can promote the space that you're in. So every tweet has this up arrow and half a square. 
So when you're in the space, you can click on that button. You have three ways to share. Uh, you can share it to DM. You can send out a tweet and you can copy the link. So you can do a bunch of things that you need to do. Uh, Stefan, thank you. Uh, greatly yeah, appreciate just, your participation. Yeah. Matt, always a great job of uh, supporting us <laughs> and sharing some useful information. Which is I taught Matt, I taught you said, do you know what I thought Matt said? I taught, most importantly, follow Tweeting Goddess and Hoseline to know where they live. Uh -huh. I thought he said. <laughs> We, we live don't live there. Oh, we don't that's hilarious. <laughs> well, I live in Boston, so you could always come to Boston. He's in Ireland, so there you go. That's funny, though. <laughs> um, but yeah. look, um, so you had strategize, participate, mm -hmm. um, consistency, community, expand, and explore. Yes. So strategize, participate, audience is the A. Um, C, Sorry, there's a lot audience. of Cs, consistency, community, communicate. Uh, e is expand and explore. Um, those are the, the, the primary things, but start off with the strategy, start off with what you want to be known for, start off with um, getting to sense of like, what is your brand? Where are you looking to go? It all starts there uh, because you're going to get known very fast. And the more you know about your personal brand, the better it is on any social platform. Um, yeah. The mission, the vision, all the stuff that you discuss in your programs um samantha that you already have established go through samantha's course if you, you're not aware of it uh, she has phenomenal courses a, a six Thank week uh, process to to get all that stuff honed in so use that same skill sets that you're learning from her and apply that on any social platform in particular with spaces because people will get to hear the value that you provide and your expertise because you'll know mm -hmm. it you can't fake that you know even if you read it people are going to be able to detect that but if it's coming out of you yep. naturally and people ask questions and you're able to ask, answer it naturally and quickly, they know yep. that you're the expert, you know? So make sure that your yep. avatar reflects that and your bio reflects that and have a mm -hmm. link to where people can know more about you. And that's your money page. My last name is Money, <laughs> Mane, which sounds very close to money. So that's something that I'm very keen about is like, how do you create a sense of you know revenue from this if this is what you want uh i actually host a monetize monday if you're interested in that and we talk about specifically that uh how to monetize your voice on twitter spaces and all social platforms and you're free to join i record those so if you missed that i can provide that those links to you uh follow me i'll have those links you don't have to follow me i really don't care i'm, I'm not really looking for followers is my point but i just want to share the information so um the other thing is in that Twitter spaces tips um, hashtag, I put together a Twitter list. And I think, Samantha, you have a Twitter list. Uh, I do. Um, Twitter. Of my favorite Twitter spaces. Hosts yep. and mm -hmm. guests. Um, so that's another great place to go. Um, if you don't want to always put that uh, search thing that Matt shared, if you don't want to put that string, go to the Twitter space, go to the Twitter list on Twitter spaces and see who the hosts are. Um, who are the great guests that you should connect with and things like that. So that would be a, a great hack to instantly get access to the people that are hosting on a regular basis and the top yep. host. Um, so, um, so yeah. I'm just so going to point out as well, we have Canada, we have New Zealand. Juanita has joined us from New Zealand. Juanita, you have to connect with Hoseline. I spoke at her conference in New Zealand uh, in 2017, nice. 18. Yeah. Um, and Osman and Shannon are here. And congratulations, we've received 100 messages during our restream. Oh, great. That's um, and Wednesday, I'm talking to Shannon. See, this is it. Relationships are, look, folks, this is proof. What we're doing here right now is proof. Right. Myself and Hoseline didn't know, I don't know if you knew me or you knew of me, right. but we didn't know each other until about three weeks ago when we started connecting in Twitter spaces and I was watching how he was doing things. And it was like, it was a, a male version of what I do. <laughs> he was sharing everybody. He was helping everybody. He was doing all the stuff I do. And so I was like, hmm, I like this guy now. Yeah. And I just felt, you know, um, I just felt, you know, I have to interview you just to get you to, because I knew you knew all about spaces. I know Matt is a huge expert as well, folks. Yes. Matt is in the chat there, so do connect him. Catherine is here. Catherine oh. Fulvio is a famous chef here in Ireland. Oh, really? Oh, a famous goodness. chef. So we'd have to get her on spaces. Yes. Uh, Liz is here. Um, Emer has said she wants to speak to us afterwards oh, directly. Fantastic. So thank you, Emer. That sounds exciting. See? Yeah, but, but just to prove to you folks, like even Tim and I have had a call, Shannon and I have had a call. So it's taken it from spaces, folks. It's like taking it from Twitter to DM to a Zoom. 
And then right. the next step will be what? A coffee together. Somewhere yeah. In real life. And what's going back to the what I explained before about um, having these tweet ups, this actually expedites the relationship. Right. Because tweet ups, you have to physically go to a place. You have to go to a bar, blah, blah, blah. You develop these relationships, you know, uh, and it takes a little bit longer. Now with Twitter spaces in a few days, I've only been on Twitter spaces for less than a month. It's going to be my yeah. anniversary this Friday of being on for 30 days. It doesn't take wow. that long. I, I got my purple mic within a few days because I was adding yeah. value or hopefully that's what they saw. And they they would give me the purple mic. I've been able to get people on Twitter spaces as a host in a few hours, you know? Um, and I started to be very, cons you know, uh, selective yeah. because once you get the purple mic, you gotta be able to use it. With you know, great, great power comes great responsibility. So have a sense of what you're gonna do before you ask for the mic is, is a critical. And I love all these questions. I wanna be able to add- All the you comments. Yeah, you'll yes. be able to watch them all back um, on the replay on LinkedIn for sure and Twitter. Uh, look, I think we should actually just prove what we've just spoken about and just open the space. Yeah. And if everyone's joined, I have about uh, 15, 20 minutes. I know it's not much Perfect. time folks, Perfect. but if you want, do you want to open it or will I, have you time? Uh, I can open it if you don't yeah, have Yeah, you can do it because it's your your thing. And then yeah. if, if we need to extend it, we could extend it, um, which is fine. Yeah. Uh, but we yeah, just to you... show people, we'll open a space. So if anyone wants to join us, just come into the space and we'll see you there. And that means we're taking our new relationships here to the next level. Yes, and uh, Elaine says, thank you. Sweetie Guy Damien says, thank you. Enjoy the school run, folks. Yeah. Jim says, wow. And thanks for the shout outs and support. You guys did great. Okay, well, look, yeah. thank you. Hoseline, thank you so much. And if you want to connect with Hoseline, I will just show you his Twitter handle here so that you can um, connect with him. Yeah, and uh, sorry I spoke so fast. I was just trying to get as much information in as possible. There's so much to learn. Ah, that's a workshop right there. <laughs> Hoseline, you got to do a workshop on this. I think people would come to your workshop yeah. so ch connect on twitter folks check out the hashtag and we will see you in twitter spaces if you want to come and try it out for you okay so i'll yeah. see you soon thank you see so you much spaces. thanks